Last time you were in here, there was snow. Now it's a garden. Developer Rocco Termini has a reputation for moving fast. Just about a year and a half into his project on Elmwood Avenue, it's bustling with new life and activity. There's East Meets West Yoga, uh, Utilint, which is a software company, Buffalo Spree, and Foundry Banquets, which we're in their space right now. The courtyard is now the focal point of the entire building, and it's truly a hidden gem of Buffalo. No one even knew it was here until Termini discovered it. Google Earth. We, when before we bought it, we went on Google, and from Google Earth, we were able to see the courtyard. I envisioned it to look like this, and it probably looks better than I envisioned, and I think it turned out to be spectacular. But Termini's not done just yet. He hopes to make the whole surrounding neighborhood spectacular, too. What we're doing is we're creating a walkable community here. We're calling it the Pierce Hero Village, and we've done the Hauk Lofts. Now we're finished with this building. We're moving across the street to the former American Radiator Company building, and that's gonna be called the Arco Lofts. And that'll be 38 apartments, and we'll be starting to redevelop that next month. Buffalo Spree's 30 employees were some of the first to move in over the winter. They could walk to Delaware Park. You know, the museums and the galleries are only half a mile away. For those that uh, wanna take a yoga class, we have yoga right in our building. Walkability is a key factor when it comes to planning a new neighborhood or reviving an old one. These new boutique businesses share a parking lot with Rocco Termini's Hulk Lofts right next door. The buzz around the neighborhood and the buzz around the lofts and, and the ease of it, you know, to come right downstairs and get your hair cut or get your hair colored, I, yeah, I, I think it's great. Opening a business in this neighborhood has special meaning for Stacy Kowalski of Salon in the City. The daughter of Polish immigrants, she grew up on this street. It means so much to me, it really does, that, um, that there's business and people that care about this neighborhood and that it's, it, there's a rebirth happening and I'm so excited to be a part of it in some small way, even if it's just my little tiny business, it's just super exciting to be a part of it. The historic building is also inspiring well-established business owners to try new things. And then we have uh, kind of an ode to sushi and sea bar on this arm with the octopus wrapping around and uh, <clears throat> some whole fish up here. The industrial space is where Chef Mike Andrzejewski is branching out from restaurants for the first time. I really kind of like the art and the tattoo culture and the history behind it. Uh, we had the opportunity to take over a really neat space here and um, we had a couple of great artists that were looking for a home. Maybe it's that kind of like a nighttime um, culture, a little bit of uh, subculture attitude, but uh, it's really popular among chefs, cooks, um, bartenders, servers. Uh, you know, we have people joke about Cantina Loco where you have to have a tattoo to work there, but it's really not true. It helps though. Ink Ink stands out from other tattoo shops and not just because it's owned by a chef. The building itself used to be the manufacturer for the wheels for the Pierce Arrow cars across the street. So there's a big Buffalo connection here. Beautiful space, a little more boutique style of a shop. Uh, for privacy and, you know, surroundings. So uh, we get a lot of people from a lot of different walks of life, not just uh, cooks and servers, but, <laughs> you know, a lot of different professions. Termini hopes the early success of Salon in the City and Inc. Inc. will spark a trend. You're going to see more and more people, developers, see what's going on here and seeing that it can happen, and they'll start investing their money then in other buildings that are around here.